when I bought this thing, second hand, like I bought it off, as I'm picking it up, it says, oh, and by the way, the key on the, the lock on one of the panniers doesn't work real well. And eventually it stopped working completely. So I've pulled it all apart. A couple of screws, I've got them somewhere lying around. Locking mechanism, the key and the barrel. So that comes out. And you can see how the entrance to it has been forced. Obviously, yeah, it's meant to look like that. So anyway, I had a bit of a play and I worked out what was wrong with it. And I'll show you. See these little things that stick out? Don't know what they're called. Sliders, wafers, something or other. They stick out and they stop you turning. Turning the key. In here, they go in that slot. And on the other side, there's another slot. So when they jam into that slot, you can't turn. So you put the key in. And what's meant to happen is, a bit tricky to see, what was sticking out now isn't. Well, except in this case. That one's good. That one lines up perfectly with the outer, so it'll turn. This one is a little bit underneath. And you can see it's sticking out the back. This one sticking out slightly. This one sticking out slightly. So, they jam in this slot. And therefore the lock won't work. Now, of course, because I'm lucky, I was going to take it back to the dealer and get him to fix it, because they obviously stuffed it. But of course that dealer doesn't exist anymore. Completely gone. So it was up to me. But I like fixing things. So, Kawasaki Genuine Part. For the kit accessory, one key system. $75 Australian, plus a bit for postage. And you get yourself two barrels and a new set of these wafery things. Now what you've got to notice is different colour bags because they're different. See what happens is the key goes through this and it lines up on these marks in the key in the key so the height of this 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 and this are all different and on the other side that's large that's small that's smaller that's larger smaller larger smallest largest so the key goes through there pushes these things up and down so that you can turn the barrel so in theory what I have to do is find out what actually makes it work so here we go oh, before I forget this other one that big tab, that's spring loaded and that sticks out the back of here and that's what holds it all in place that slots into there okay Kawasaki one key system let's make it work let's go from Zero key does not work because they stick out and stop the barrel turning in the housing into 
a working one. So these little thingos slot in here. A slot and a hole for a spring. Let's take this one out and see what it's really like. So we've got that. That's what was in there. And there was its little spring. Now that one was sticking out too far. So that would appear to be this one. Yep. So it's out of the blue packet. Okay, so it was sticking out too far by one. So I'll get something out of the pink packet. So, spring in the little hole. And I thought it was a pink one. A little tab goes on top of the spring. Now there are these little edges down here and on the bottom to help catch it in place. And okay, that's in. Pink one. It's not sticking out the back. Well, is that ever so slightly sticking out the front, the top? Let's pull it out and see. Compare it to... <sighs> Compare it to the other one. So it's sticking out too far, perhaps. Pardon me, I did it. That was the pink one. It was sticking out a bit too far, so I'll try the one smaller. Spring. Green one. In. Key. That looks to be stuck under and sticking out the back. That's stuck in, sticking out the back, so we'll go back to the pink one. So green is too small. And I think we're just going to keep doing this. Not perfect, but pretty close. Okay, that was that one. That went there, so now I'm going to go for a smaller one. Let's have a go at... this yellow one. go just a little bit of a force and you hear it click okay second one it's not sticking out the bottom it's not sticking out the top geez I guessed it right so it's pink yellow and onwards we go hear it click. Hasn't happened until it's clicked. Okay, that one looks to be underneath, recessed a little bit too much. On the back, yes, it's sticking out too far. So, 
that wasn't the right one. Yep. How's that look? Nice and smooth. Not sticking out. Not sticking out. Just that last one, number five. Just the tiniest little bit. Clipped in place. Key in. It looks wonderful. Okay. Tabs stick out, so you can't turn the barrel in the housing. Key in. Tabs are all recessed, flush now, so the key, the barrel can be turned. It's time to start putting this thing all back together. Wow, is that it? Well, let's put some stuff away first. Okay, key in this. Now inside here, so we've got to get that, the last tab there, the sixth one, the spring-loaded one, right through so it sits on here. And that holds it all together. Now in here, you've got a little tab here. You put that spring in there, and see this is curved, this has got a little gradual little angled ramp on it so you put that in turn it and that ramp will compress we'll do that and we can get the thing in well that's what I'm hoping anyway so in turn in okay And you just keep turning it, and it pops through. Done. Here. In and it turns. Out and it doesn't. What is this magic? What is this magic? Okay. I better find all the other bits now and put this baby back together.